So when you clear it, all of that goes away and you can encounter the same past triggers and nothing occurs. It's, it's freeing for yourself. So like it's, it's more for you. Is clearing it mm-hmm. different a different process for everybody or is there like a similar mm-hmm. similar tools and methods we could use to yeah. clear it? I've shared like some of the questions and stuff just mm-hmm. in this conversation, but in, in the workshops that I teach with my husband, like we take mm-hmm. people through a process, right? And we take them through the first one, we take them through 13 questions. We're going to understand your purpose to a great, greater degree. Then we take you through 14 questions. And those 14 questions take us, it takes us about 15 hours to go through these questions. But at the end of the process, like if you do the work, I can guarantee you you'll release your trauma if you don't do the work you're not going to get the result it's fine but if you do the work like i guarantee you'll get through it right and that's why we do these things live and stuff because we want to make sure people get through it but Mm. for example like the last one we had we had a couple going through a divorce on it the husband had already gone through the process before he had gone through this process he didn't want to talk to his wife hated her was ready to just like destroy her in court right goes through the process and now loves and appreciates her. He's genuinely concerned about her through the transition and paid for her to come through the workshop. And again, she didn't want to talk to him. She hated him. I'm actually surprised she showed up because he was there that same weekend. And at the end of it, they're both in tears of gratitude, talking to each other, telling each other they appreciate each other and coming up with a strategy to be friends as they go through the divorce. So when I tell you, you can overcome anything, like I promise you, it's it's possible if you do the work that like you know if you do the work with us like we asked i promise you you can overcome it and then that weight it's like the the inner peace the inner turmoil no, dissipates I actually went through a similar story yeah going through a divorce like i was traumatized from that whole like infidelity and like alcohol abuse and there was just a point where i just I don't know, I guess I was starting to clear it out. And it was exactly like how you were saying, like you started to be, like I started to become grateful because I learned more about myself and like the standards and how I can show up in the future. And uh, I just <laughs> learned so much through that. Even though go. it was like traumatic, um, I went through the pretty much like that same story that, uh, you just told about the couple. Yeah. And this is that, this is the thing. It's like, you just said it right there. This is, you see that it's on the way to your life purpose because you just said it. Mm. I learned so much that I'm grateful. Mm. So even though it was challenging, you were learning so much and that education you got, it's like, that makes the challenge inspiring And what's funny is like, if you can look at all the challenges in your life and see what you haven't seen yet, which is what's inspiring behind it, and that's what you got out of it, what you learned in your own way, what you got out of it in your own way, guess what you feel? You feel grateful. You don't feel mad at the other person. You're not like bitter or angry. You could treat them like a normal human being. They're in your life or they're not in your life. It doesn't really matter. But for you, you don't you're not burdened by anger anymore. You're not burdened by frustration, sadness. You know, it's it's our burden that we carry when we carry those emotions. It doesn't impact the other person yeah. at all. They're not even around. Well, and then and then I mean, you get to the point where you get tired, like you you're just Extreme. like tired all the time. Yeah, it's like when you mm-hmm. let when you start to let go of that, you get more energy back. It's like it's it's exhausting yeah. being like uh holding grudges and like so tired being angry all the time it's like yeah you have to start letting go of that energy man to mm-hmm. really and start I, living life again i think that's what we forget like because we are humans we'll, mm. we'll feel so slighted you know we'll feel so hurt so harmed that we want to be angry And if you're not noticing, everyone has it. If you're not noticing the heaviness and the drain that comes with it, Mm. you hold on to that anger until all of a sudden you break down and it becomes too much. 
right? And it's like, instead of, and this is part of the personal development, the mindset, empowering our mindset component, instead of waiting for your body to exhaust itself, your brain to exhaust itself by holding on to this, Mm -hmm. it's like, you catch it early on and work through it more strategically so it doesn't have to get to that point. Because again, no matter how pissed off you are at someone, no matter what they did to you, they're probably not around, which means that your anger hurts no one else but yourself.